Hello, it's Matt from Phoebisoft. I was searching YouTube to find some full course of Unity so that one can learn from the very beginning to more advanced topics, but I really couldn't find it. There are lots of tutorials, they're pretty good, they very good. But you know, they are like one shot tutorials, so you have to make a path a learning path on your own and this is not that easy so I thought I create a course where you can start very easy and make it more difficult as you progress so at the beginning we will start with some 2d stuff and then move to 3d stuff as well and probably at some point it will be interchangeable so once we will do some lessons with 2d and 3d but at the beginning we'll just stick to 2d projects so i hope to create a course where you can start from the basic stuff and do more complex one as we go further so let's create a new project I will just click on new and choose the most recent versions of Unity. I will click on 2D project, give it a name and it will be YouTube course. And I will add it to my desktop. I'll create a new directory and call it YouTube course. Just enter it, select folder and click create it will take about one to two minutes it depends on how powerful your computer is so in this lesson we will just talk about the main window and how the unity project is structured okay we have our project ready and if you have a look here on the bottom there is a project window and here we've got one folder called scenes since is most important folder in our game as there is no project without the scene we have to have at least one scene which is opened as you have a look here there is a sample scene and this is the same name as the scene file that exists in this folder we can change it let's click on it and maybe i'll call it lesson one just press enter and we have to reload it because the name was changed so once it's reloaded the name of it is changed also in this window and on the top of this bar the hierarchy window is the window that will list all our objects that will be put onto the scene so at the moment there is only main camera here and it was added to the scene automatically once the project was created here is the scene window and as you can see we can move from the scene to game tabs and we will switch between them quite often here we have a play button we can press play on it so our game will be played of course there is nothing visible as we have nothing that has been added to the scene next we have inspector window here is the window where all our component will be shown and as you can see if nothing is selected there is no component shown at all so once i click on the camera we've got the transform component visible and the camera component and audio listener audio listener is responsible for playing sounds in our project the camera is of course so that the image can be rendered and transform component is something that you will see in every and each object that we will be adding to the scene because we need to know the location of that object it has to exist in this uh, unity world so that it has to have a transform component as i mentioned at the beginning we've got a project window and the console tab next to it so those two will be quite handy as well the project will consist of all our files that are included or important, imported to our project and the console will show us all handy information and some warnings and errors 
if we make some mistake while coding or programming. There are all main windows that we will need at the beginning. Of course there are plenty of more windows that we can get and tabs but we will get into that once we need them. At the moment this is all we need really. And um, before we finish this lesson I just want to show you one more thing. If we click on the game tab there is 16 to 9 field that can be expanded when you open a new project there will be a free aspect signed to it so now as you can see the size of the camera is a bit wider and different so usually we want to specify what the camera ratio we want for our game probably most of the time we will be using 60 to 9 which is full HD resolution ratio so I will click on 16 to 9 and that's the most common resolution that we that should fit most of the monitors and mobiles so this is quite handy to have this settings switched on 